everybody, I am Jared Oz, and today I will be showing you um, a little bit of tips and sharing a little bit of background about the program I used to make my movies called 3D Movie Maker. Um, the program was made back in 1995 by Microsoft, so it is quite old, but there is a site where you can download new mods like Mega Man, Mario, helicopters, um, all sorts of stuff. I'll give you the site later, perhaps, in this video. Um, so, anyways... Today, I will be showing you a few tips. First off, I need to get a scene. So I click this mountain icon and it says scene. There we go, scene choices. It says choose from many different scenes. So you click that and then you can just click the arrows right here if you wanna choose from a wide variety of scenes. Let's just choose this one right here. Now, I want to get two actors. So what I go to is I go to Actors and Props, click that, and then you click this head icon right here. It says you can choose from many different actors. Click that, I will get this uh, robot right here. And then I'll click it again. Click on this guy. And when you click him, you can put him anywhere you want. You can just drag him with the mouse, and when you, and when you find a position for him to... Uh, if you find a position for him, you can just click the mouse, and then click off the click off of him, and then he's there. He's in that position right there. Now, if you make a mistake, you can also click this hand icon right here, which is called reposition, and you can click him and move him all over the scene. And if you want, you can even click this uh, up and down arrow, you know, up and down, and then you can make him up or down. Up, down, up, down, blah, 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 blah. Alright, anyways. As I was saying again, I'll make a little action scene for you. And I'll show you some of the actions that the actors come with. What you do, you click this uh, actions icon, and then you have a little running man. You click on the actor, and then here are some of the actions. You know, you got crawl, run, run scared, sneak, bat, walk backwards, walk fast, walk slowly, walk, dance, faint. Fall, fly, get up, greet, grow, grow fast, jump, karate kick, kneel, laugh, lie down, mad, sad, sing, I mean, uh, shrink, shrink fast, sit, talk, stand, spin, spin fast, squash, stretch, talk, talk sitting, think, yell. All right, those are your options. Um, I want to make him punch uh, the black dude, but there is no punch action. Only like a karate kick. That's the most violent command you probably have in this program. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to click laugh, and what I'm going to do is, as you can see, you have set starting pose. You can set them in a certain pose. So what I'm going to do is I click the arrow, and then if you look at his hand, it looks like he's almost making like a fist, or if he's or like he's going to punch someone almost. So I start him in that pose, and I click OK, and I'm going to make him hit him with like a right hook or, yeah, right hook. So. I use the hand icon, which is reposition, click him, move him towards the black dude, and then I will add a few frames. So what I do is I hold control, click on this arrow right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, rewind it by clicking that, and then let's see. Alright, go to frame 2, and then I make him look like he's going to punch him and getting very close to it. Go to frame 3, click this. And then, then he smacks him in the freaking face. And how will the black dude react when he gets hit? Let's see what we got. There is a fall command, but he falls forward, and it, I don't think he'd fall forward if he got hit in the face in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose faint, but um, the way he starts out is he starts kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in this pose like he's get about to get hit um, the other way. And then to make him look like he's getting hit more, I'm going to drag him with the reposition, move him up more towards his fist, click off of him. And then if I want to resume the last action, I can click this. And then what I do is I click on the actor and I hold the button down and then let go when um, he's in the position I want or the action. All right. Okay, to make it even uh, more awesome, I'll go to sounds, I'll click a sound effect, which is this little horn thing, and then I 
choose punch fist like he's getting hit by his fist, you know. So click it, press OK, you have a little note icon, and right at the part at frame 3, this is where he gets hit, so I will click this on the scene, the guy, or another guy to, uh, import, to import the sound in the film. Alright, so let's see what we got. This is the beginning of the movie. I rewind to frame 1. So it makes it look like he's punching him, but he is actually in a laugh pose, but it looks like he is. I will show you once again. And that is a little action scene I did. Um, I've done that with many other actions, like jump. I turn into like flips and stuff, and I turn uh, their cr their kicks into like karate kicks and other things. I've basically like manipulated like the actions that they give me on this program, and it took me years to figure that out. Like, um, some of my older films on my YouTube account, um, you can tell I'm not as good as I was uh, back then as I am now. And same goes with my friends uh, Mike Oz and uh, Ryan Roz. And they're a lot better, too. Anyways, uh, this will end my little uh, tutorial on, uh, like, a brief uh, fight scene. So uh, I may post others if you guys want to know more info. And um, if you want... What I'll do is, uh, the site where you can download this uh, program is called uh, 3dm.com. Uh, you can download the game, and you don't need a patch for it. There's a no-patch uh, CD-like uh, mod there. So 3dm.com. And they also and there's uh, also a lot of other people who have really good movies on there, too. So you can probably watch them, too, and they have really... I just repeated myself. <laughs> they have really kick-ass movies, and sometimes they even have, post them on YouTube and stuff. If you type in, like, 3D movies in YouTube, you'll see some crazy shit. Like, probably even way better than my movies. So check them out sometime. All right. Anyways, this will conclude uh, my little tutorial, and I think I said that for the second time. Yep, I repeated myself. Voila. All right, anyways, have a good day, everybody.